So you were complaining about obviously with Nexus you have to have multiple instances because it's not a multi input output source but Omnisphere is so if we load up Omnisphere just give it a second so what we're going to do is going to go up here and we're going to add more outputs okay let's see we've got numbers up here so we can have eight different instruments on one instance of the plugin so we might We've got some guitars in here, John. You might like guitars, so. Okay, and that's all going through. If we bring up the mixer, that's going through Omnisphere A. But, and obviously, we hit record. We're recording through MIDI 1, but if we were to go add MIDI track, And then on the MIDI track, we're going to make sure that we're going through number two, so which is effectively B, or three would be C. So number two through Omnisphere. And then if we bring up Omnisphere and we click on number two, we can Where now, did you click on number two, buddy? Just here at the top. So okay. one was that original yep. sound. And now we're on number two. So as long as we've got this selected, and we're going to drop in a new sample into number two. And then, here we go. Like that, and then what we want to do, if we want to process that sample differently, we go to uh, multi at the top here, and that number two, we're going to put its output to B. And then what that means is now, just, this is always on top. If you just right click in here and go always on top, turn that off. So now any window we're on. And if we look, we've got Omnis for A and B. We've got one going through one and the other going through B. And that's how you split up uh, and use multi on here. If we wanted another one, we'd go three, click on number three, add something else to three. Now we've got something on three, but we need to add a MIDI track again. Add another mini track and then number three and if we wanted it to have its own output we would also go here to number three and C. So that's how you use the multi outputs on Omnisphere.